Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Mark and Kokol here. Glad to see you today. Uh, today we are talking night photography and uh, let's roll the clip and start our It's been a while since I taught a tutorial or something or gave some tips in terms of photography. So today I thought it would be nice to share with you something that I find interesting, night photography. So this past week i went out with a few friends of mine with daniel who's a photographer like i am and we had that opportunity to be graced by vio a friend of mine if you don't know vio that means you're quite new to this vlog so welcome to the vlog and joy who uh, went with us out to kampala city and we took some great photos at night but you know something happened you know once if you want to do night photography there are a couple of things you need one is probably you need this this is a monopod this is my monopod it's uh newer i uh, love the company makes very affordable things for photography videography i'll link them down in the description below or i think i'll put a card is it here i think it's here yes and uh the second thing you need i think you need light light so that you can do nice things like uh, what they call lightscaping and like mm, mm, mm. You go around the person but there's like a train of light around them that's what we had in plan for this i feel like iron man here pew, pew. Where were we? the plan was to go out with a tripod go out with lights do it meticulously i forgot all the equipment at home so yes that happened but we had to go out we had to make sure we had to, we, we couldn't live without getting anything so these few tips are things I think you need to look out for if you're shooting at night or you happen to have your camera at night and you want to get some nice photos and you don't have a tripod or you don't have any light. So um, let's get started. So one, you need light. So we walked around Kampala city and we found a place with a perfect big light. We found their sign, it's beaming with beautiful light. So that was our first location. We went in, we took some photos. Um, positioning is very key. You want the light to hit a person calmly or softly you can put them on their side or you want a harsh contrast you put them across just close to the light but finding a perfect source of light at night is one of the things you need to do because at night there's no light so the light has to come from the camera or from a source of light but remember we didn't have any light so we had to find light and that's the light we found um number two i think number two which i think should have been the first is the lens um i would show you my lens but uh the lens I'm using, I think I can put it here, it's a 50mm, this 50mm, it's a 1.4 aperture, meaning it opens wide and allows in a lot of light, so when you use such a lens at night, you're able to get in proper light, enough to take your photos and get proper photos out of it. Um, when you use lenses which have a lower aperture, probably 4 or uh, 3.5, it may be a little bit hard, but dropping down to 2.8 1.4 1.8 those are very good lenses to carry when you're doing night photography number three for the photography part that i really wanted us to try out which is trail of lights trail of lights you have to find one busy street obviously you need the cars to beam that light you know those crazy nice photos you see at night so we wanted to take some of those but remember one we didn't have lights and we didn't have a tripod to do lightscapes your camera needs to be open for almost at least three seconds so the compass is through the lens so that all that light is tracked it's a very simple technique but one thing you need is stability and we didn't have a tripod so we looked around and we found some posts on the side of the road and we were able to set our camera down there that enables us to shoot the frame leave the camera open for a little bit and then get the perfect frame finally tip number four am i counting right now um when i told view and joy we were going out uh, to shoot at night they were so excited we didn't even have to tell them what clothes to bring they just knew what to wear these outfits complement the style they complement streets they complement the yellow jumper complements the yellow in the street red also complements the lights of the car so that is one other thing that is very critical especially when you're doing it street night or urban photography is that the clothes have to match. you can also talk about props the view had a book and she really wanted to show that was one of the concepts we came up with just shooting her reading on the street alone at night 
something that can add a bit of story to your photos because we're all about that story right now in 2020 so yes um i think those are the tips i have for you when you're doing night photography it's not advisable not to go out with these things tripods and lights it's very advisable for you to go out with these things but if you don't have them these are some of the hacks can i say that you can use to be able to get some nice photos i think the photos we took were pretty decent they may not be the best but we shall go out again and next time when we do a video we shall have all the equipment we need but um that's what i wanted to share with you today i think when you see this video main gather will be done so maybe you'll hear about it in the next vlog but yes i can't really invite you for this now maybe what i can say the women's conference is coming up so i invite all ladies to the kololo independence grounds for the women's conference the men's conference has already been a great one i'm so sure and um i can't you know the women always do it better so i can't wait for you guys to come you're all invited and um yeah i think that's it for this vlog i think we are about to cross the 100 subscriber mark so thank you guys for loving me thank you guys for liking the channel the comments team thank you so much for commenting every video um this journey is one that we share together and uh yeah we're moving on one the goal is uh 100,000 by the end of 2020 i think we can hit that it's a very small goal with all all things are possible so um have a great time love you guys see you in the next one bye bye